Ciao friends! In this video, I want to show you how to use DAC Studio to evaluate a measure applying a filter to the result. This example has a query using evaluate with a simple measure expression. And uh, if I want to evaluate this expression not in the for the entire data model, but in a particular filter context, for example by filtering one product color or one particular year, I can use the function calculate table. Calculate table evaluates a table expression, in this case my table constructor, applying a particular filter context to the existing filter context. But when you use evaluate, the initial filter context is empty, so whatever we apply in the filters of calculate table will be applied to the filter context in a direct way. So, for example, I could say, well, I want to get only the values for the year 2009. So, if I execute this calculate table, you see that now, in the previous execution, I got uh, 300 million as a result. If I execute this expression now, I get a smaller number, because I apply a filter and I restricted the evaluation only for 2009. I can add another filter here, by, for example, by writing uh, the product uh, color equal to red. And uh, I click F5, and this time you see that the value is much smaller. Now, because this uh, filter context is applied to the entire table expression you see here, if I include in this table constructor another measure, like for example margin, and maybe another one, like margin percentage, the filter context I'm defining here, so these two filters are applied in a single pass, in a single step, to the three measures. If I execute this code again, I see that uh, these three measures have been uh, filtered uh, using the year 2009 and the color red. Once again, since I may want to see everything in a single row, I can just use this other syntax to see the result in three different columns. This is just an example of how you can use uh, the filters applied to a measure, but is an easy way to test the code for your measure in DAX Studio. Enjoy DAX!